Had a little bit of a misfire there. Hate when that happens. I didn't even have the proper bumper music up. This song makes me want to take my shirt off and start dancing with a Santa hat on. Well, it is Christmas time. (laughs) I don't know. This is... This reminds me of being a, a kid at Christmas. That, that's a, that's you know your days in the hood. Yeah, my days in the hood. <laughs> no, my, my days in a in, a, in an upper class, uh, upper middle class, not upper class. Look, good lord, no, not my family. <laughs> upper middle class uh, suburb, watching MTV, and this is they play this all the time. I do. I do it's one of my favorite Christmas songs. This one and. Uh, uh, this one and this one. Well, it's Christmas time, everybody. This is a little bit before my time, but. So you prefer the uh, traditional stuff? Yeah. Or or uh, No Presents for Christmas is one of my favorite Christmas songs. Mm. King Diamond. King Diamond, yes. <laughs> um, no, well, but yeah, I, I enjoy the I, I enjoy the religious uh, Christmas music. Uh, the jingle bells and all this trash. Ah. I, I could do without it. You're a garbage. Uh, you're a traditionalist. Very, yeah. very interesting. I'll have to dig up some uh, some other Christmas stuff. I don't normally play Christmas music until uh, the week of Christmas, and then I uh, uh, then I use it for bumper music for the week of Christmas. So I, I I have it all lined up. I just maybe I'll maybe I'll pick a few more. Uh, I'll pick a few more. I'll find. I'll find uh, Black Christmas. You know, there you go. Ven- from Venom. There you go. You know, Venom's always good for a uh, for a good <laughs> Christmas song. Of course. Uh, <laughs> he, he, There's he, a few. Good, look, they're just a couple of Christian boys that got together. And yeah, yeah. Formed a nice metal band. They're 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 nice guys. <laughs> okay, so, and very influential, by the way, Venom. Yes, very very influential. People don't give those guys as much credit as they probably deserve when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh man, it, I mean, they've pretty much without them, you, you probably you don't have. There's a lot of thrash metal bands influenced by them, death yeah. metal bands. I mean, any type of speed metal, any of that. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, you know, as as usual, they probably uh, have trouble paying their bills because yeah. nobody nobody gives back to the guys that came up with the idea. But yeah, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. I know. I know they play these uh, these heavy metal cruises. You can go on a cruise ship. There was actually one this year, uh, and uh, actually, I, I know somebody was uh, helping sponsor it. Uh, does a, a medical show, and he was helping sponsor this thing. And the the, the lineup was uh, uh, Motorhead, Anthrax, Venom. And about ten other bands, and I've heard of all of them. Exodus, Jeez. I think, was on it. This is on a cruise ship. For one I'm thing. in. It was, a, you know, a, a carnival cruise ship. So you know, a couple thousand people, and they every night out by the pool area, they would turn it into an outdoor concert hall. So you're outside in the tropics. It's nice and warm, and just, just motorhead on a cruise ship. I mean, that would be what a that great be, idea. That that's an amazing, amazing idea. One of these days, I'm going to do one of those. We need to. Do, I want to do one of those. We, Heck, station needs to sponsor it. That's what it definitely. Is. And we, need to, we need to work on that. Well, you were but, talking. You were talking about giving credit to Venom, and I'm a huge Death fan. I mean, Death is one of my favorite bands. But uh, the their their lead guitarist, singer, founder, he's no longer with us. But I've seen in multiple interviews because really. They always credit him. They're like, hey, you know, you're kind of the one uh, that started death metal. And he always would correct him and say, no, actually, it's Venom. Yeah. You know, Venom was very influential to us. That's really cool. Some, a, a musician doesn't have to do that. He doesn't yeah. have to come out. So for him to do that, that just shows what kind of character the guy had. Hey, you know what? Really, it wasn't me. Venom was before us. Yeah. And- Throw him a couple bucks. Yeah. They need it. Well, uh, they, they Death was it. having trouble making a couple bucks, I think, too. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of those things, you know, those those niche categories sometimes. Yeah. I don't know how we got off on that tangent, but it's definitely... Uh, oh, the people love Death and... Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Venom talk. They I'm, love I'm, that. They love I'm, it. I'm sure the, the heavy metal talk works to the uh, works to the demo. There's there's two people that know these. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh so, yeah, yeah. Uh, just just remind me to put this on my demo reel when uh, when the con- uh, consultant guy comes around. It, <laughs> you should not be talking about that. You should be talking about your social media. 
You should be talking about what's going on in town and maybe uh, you know, maybe maybe talk about what what's going on in the news locally. <laughs> Not enough about this heavy metal stuff. What's your favorite death metal band? G- give me a call. Hey, 682-1270. What's your favorite death metal band? <laughs> death metal Christmas song. <laughs> You should not be talking about things that would disenfranchise the demo. You can send them one of these. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the consultant sounds like Bane from Batman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about. You sound just like Bane. Yes, you, know, you should should not disenfranchise the demo. You know what? You, should, if the cons- you should bring in younger listeners. If the consultant looks like Bane, I'm going to listen to him. <laughs> yeah, the big cat. You listen to Bane. Yeah. I would say this: You send them one of these, send them this segment, and then maybe uh, one of your one of our wrestling, yes, one, one of our wrestling, one segments. of our wrestling segments. His then, head would explode. It, yes, he'd be. Why, why are they talking about wrestling? I told them not to talk about wrestling. You need to talk about what's going on at City Hall. <laughs> There's nothing going on at City Hall, guys. <laughs> it, it's it's a it's a quiet time of the season. Yes. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> So, uh, did you do any Black Friday shopping? So we, we we can get topical. Now, the consultant would like this. Get topical. You can talk about Black Friday. That's topical. Everybody can relate. I well, first off, I don't like calling it Black Friday because that's racist. Okay, it's like why does it have to be called? I don't understand that. But anyway, <laughs> you do know the original <laughs> meaning for Black Friday, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I'll I'll explain. It will be educational today too. Give your listeners something to go home with, uh, some educational bits. Uh, Black Friday uh, started off as being the day that the books would go from being in the red, negative, to being in the black, positive. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what kind of businesses they were running that it takes nine months to make a profit, but or ten months to, to make a profit. But uh, somehow, somehow the uh, department stores – wouldn't make a profit until the uh, Friday after Thanksgiving. Of course, now Black Friday is not even Black Friday anymore. Uh, it's Thursday. Pretty much, yeah. It's pretty much Thursday now. Uh, you That's didn't... when I went. Oh, you went out? Went Thursday. It, it, it wasn't that bad, was it? No, well, here's well, I had Thanksgiving dinner at a friend's house. I had a, had a little wine, a little whiskey, which really prepared me for the crowds. I was, you know, had a nice warm, fuzzy feeling as they went out in the yeah. crowd. So it wasn't that bad. You, you know, you I didn't know, buy anything. I, I I see videos of these places where people fight over TVs and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I and maybe I've just been fortunate in my life to have lived in some pretty nice places. But even when I lived in Philadelphia, and I lived across from, um, you know how there's a good mall and then there's the other mall. Uh, my apartment complex was a, across the street from the other mall. The other mall. The other mall. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the one that has the theater that shows three-month-old movies and yeah. uh, the, the chains, uh, the the anchor store was Burlington Coat Factory in Value City. Half of the stores are closed. Oh, even yeah. Ball. And the rest are t- t- uh, sneaker sh- stores. Oh, yeah. Sneakers and really cheap suits. Zoot suits, too. Uh, but, I mean, I, I never saw any of this. I've never seen people fight over TVs. And I know I've seen videos and I know it happens. Uh, but I've never seen it, and especially here, um, I didn't even see people losing their temper. I mean, it was just everybody was polite, everybody was uh, relatively quiet. You know, it was a little bit, uh, a little bit jammed up in some of the aisles, but people were polite. They'd say "excuse me" and they'd get out of the way, and everybody got what they wanted. Well, I, I don't see, I don't see what the big deal is. A friend of mine. In the uh, shopping venture that we went on Thursday, did get hit with a cart, and then uh, my friend's wife was actually yelled at by a lady. Oh, really? She was trying to get up. She was trying to get up to the uh, the register line, and she was kind of looking for us because we were calling yeah. for her. And I guess some lady was like, "Yeah, aren't you gonna move or what?" Okay, I'm so. assuming that's what she sounded like. Aren't you gonna move her? <laughs> Just sounds like a bird. Pretty much. <laughs> move. <laughs> you had a cigarette and stuff. Well, you know, so, well, but if that's the worst of it, that's pretty good. I, I, I didn't see any of that. No, yeah, you're now, right. It wasn't I, that bad. I, I will say uh, pretty much everything that I bought on that Thursday, uh, I could go back right now and buy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, they, they didn't sell out of the things that I wanted except for pillows. They had, they had a special on pillows. How'd your system work? Your senior system, it, they, they didn't work they, this year? They messed it up. What they did is the, the big ticket items, you had to actually either pay for them uh, right there. Because I bought a big ticket item, not a TV or anything. And I can't say exactly what I bought because the recipient might be listening. Uh, but I bought a big ticket item, so they gave you wristbands, and you had to pay for it right there. Oh. So uh, it's a, my, my system, my system last year, now that they've you know, uh, killed the system, I guess I could tell everybody what my system was. Uh, I actually went back at 10 p.m. last year, and all of the stuff that people had picked up off the shelves and decided they didn't want to buy was in carts up at the front of the store. I just went and picked through the carts and got everything I wanted. It's a good um, system. It's a good system, but it didn't work this year because they, you know, made people pay for the big stuff mm. um, as soon as they picked it up. Jeez. All the all the tablets and laptops and uh, big ticket items, the big TVs and that kind of stuff. I did not buy a giant TV, by the way. Ooh, but but they uh, ruined I, your system. But I think the uh, I think they as 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 of last night they still had the big TVs too. Now you're gonna do they any Cyber Monday? Anything. You can do any Cyber Monday stuff? No, possibly. Cheap, it, it, cheap is, stuff on there. it is Cyber Monday. We should probably mention that to be uh, as topical as possible. Oh, uh, here, who's uh, who's uh, shopping today online? Give yes. us a call. What's your what's, what's your best what's your best Amazon deal? Give us a call six eight two twelve seventy. What's your favorite thing to buy online? Are you afraid they're going to steal your credit card numbers? <laughs> yes, you should be. You should be encouraging them to call in. And they could talk about things they want to buy. I was wondering, it kind of connects with the listener. Every time now, we, all of a sudden, the consultant is going to be Bane from now on. The consultant the is Bane. The consultant is Bane from Batman, I, and and the uh, and, and the jock is every every puke voice jock that's ever um, done radio. Exactly, and I kind of want to know. What are the thoughts on Cyber Monday of one Alex Jones? Doesn't that pop in your head? You kind of want to know. It's what a he's conspiracy. Saying. It's a definitely a conspiracy. These these corporatists, they just want you to spend your money and spend your money, and you should be buying from the InfoWars store. You should be buying <laughs> vitamins from InfoWarsHealth.com. You should be, well, let's see what kind of Black Friday specials I have. <laughs> Cyber Monday special on Alex Jones's website. Uh, hold on. It's, it's, it's very slow. <laughs> hold on. It's loading. Infowarsstore.com, 24-hour special. Silver Bullet Dietary Supplement, nine ninety five. It's normally 30 bucks. That's a great deal, and it's not going to those corporatists. You know, that actually really is a good deal. I think... I don't know what it is. We should probably order that. It's one-third the price. So. What about his meals? There's a meal plan on sale or what? One hundred and fifty-six dollars for four weeks of MREs. I don't think that's on sale. <laughs> no, I think it's a regular price. Yeah, that's not a very good deal, is it? <laughs> that was a Black Friday deal. Infowarsstore.com. <laughs> I plug in other people's websites. <laughs> okay, what do we have going on? This in segment is turned. It's taking a turn. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we have. Uh, I don't remember. It's a sports surprise. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you, uh, Alex Jones uh, added me as a uh, connection on LinkedIn the other day. Not joking. Alex Jones. Wow, we can get him on the show. Well, he, he probably would come on the show. Alex Jones interviews Alex Jones. That would be great. Okay, News Radio 1270-1067, KIML. Live from the Basin Radio Network Studios, the number one talk show in Northeast Wyoming, The Don Carpenter Show. On News Radio 1270 and 1067 FM, KIML.